And then there was pizza. Who'd have thought just a few blocks from Georgia Tech, located in Midtown Atlanta, you'd find a place that would transport you back to Italy. Thousands of people can't be wrong with lines that form around the block to taste that amazing, authentic pizza. Let's hang at Antico. Antico is like, um, it means ancient, and it's ancient style cooking. And this is not reinventing the wheel. This is the wheel. The ancient style is what we do here, end to end. Um, and, and that includes the products. The products are all sourced from ancient sources down to our sea salt. You've been here like three times in two weeks. Yep. Why you keep coming? What, 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 what's the, what, why are you addicted? What's it, do you need to see somebody? It's the best pizza in Atlanta. You know, they keep it simple. The, the crust is delicious. You know, the ingredients are flown from all over the place. And, you know, I just can't get enough of it. And this business was built around the margarita. The margarita is the most famous pizza in the world. It's always going to be our biggest seller. That smoked scamorza cheese, which is fresh, we have made for us. Hand crushed San Martano tomato grown in the slopes of Mount Vesuvio. Fresh buffalo mozzarella, we fly by plane at, to Atlanta airport on Sundays. Fresh basil being torn, and the leaves have to be torn to give the aromatic part of the herb. And then extra virgin olive oil drizzled on the top. Front going in. When you take it out, pizza's almost done, and you look at the bottom of that crust right there, you see that golden color? Right now, that dough is golden charred. We call that La Oro di Napoli. That's the gold of Naples. You just notice the three seconds in the top of the oven, and that might be the best margarita pizza being made in America today. The cheese we're putting on that simple margarita is from three animals. We're using cow milk from Scamorza. We're using uh, water buffalo buffalo milk, and we use sheep milk, Pecorino Romano. So we use three different cheeses from three different animals, and they're all the finest cheeses of Italy. Never been here before, but I have a friend who just told me it is the best pizza in Atlanta. So how's, how, how's it going so far for you? What do you think? It is absolutely delicious. I was in Italy this time last year, and I think this is the closest thing to real Italian pizza. Yeah. So what do you think about the design of the place? What, what I love it. I love the fact that you can see the dough behind us, and yeah. you can see them making the pizzas over here. I think it's really interesting, and it makes you feel like you're in Italy. Chef Gio turns up the heat with the spicy, peppery Diablo pizza. We've had these Calabrian chili peppers on our dinner table basically our entire life. And uh, I put supersada on the Diablo and I threw those right on top of it to make it. And it tasted, to me, spectacular, better than any, I've, anything I've ever tasted in my life. And, and those be peppers have become a cult legend in Atlanta. How often you come to Antico? About once a week. Once a week? Yeah. Tell me about those flavors. I like the sweetness of it. Tell yeah. me if it's the peppers or what's in it, but it's good. Yeah, the peppers are amazing. The red peppers here are the real story. These things are, I've never had anything like them. They're outstanding. So that's the headline. That's the headline. The red peppers are the headline. Yes. How proud are we that Atlanta has one of the great pizza places in the world? Or at least in the, in the country, right? When people come to visit, I bring them here. Right now, we make six pizzas at a time every two minutes for all day. and. And on a Saturday here now, we're making sometimes a 1,000 pizzas. We make six pizzas every two minutes. They all get topped. They come in, they go out, they get run out. Talk about what's happening here, because this is very clutch. This we got, is we got, right, we got the Right. We got the little cup of loveliness, right? Yep, yep. So where's, where do you find that? So in the corner, they just have a big thing of uh, red sauce that you can just scoop out with a wooden spoon. Right. Help yourself so all you, you can eat. So you're you're just dipping. Just dipping and dipping. Every, dipping. Everybody gets their own though, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You nope. See, you know this this is the best part of it, the crust. So yep. I mean, you got to have the red sauce to scoop it up with. That's just essential. You tell me. I'll wait here until there's an extra slice. Any chance that's going to happen? No. No. Can you finish a whole pizza? I wouldn't try. No. But I probably. Could. I'm here for you if you run into problems. By the way, <laughs> keep that in mind. Don't move, because when we come back, I'm throwing dough with Chef Gio. This segment of Atlanta Eats is brought to you by Kia Motors. This week's Kia Motors dish worth a drive is Two Dog, a hometown hotspot serving rustic Euro soul food just off Gainesville Square. Enjoy locally grown veggies, freshly baked breads, and savory homemade sausages all washed down with a frosty seasonal brew. Kia Motors, expect the unexpected.
We're back and I'm getting ready to go toe to toe with a master. I got this, right? The San Gennaro has become a, a, a cult type thing around the country. People fly here and they get it. Uh, the mayor comes here and he just he gets the San Gennaro at, I went, before we close every I mean, it, it, people, Arthur Blank, they love that pizza. So that was just something, my take on sausage and peppers. And I just did it in a way that it worked out. What are we, what are we doing? We making my pizza what, today? What's your favorite one? I mean. I like the one with those sausage and peppers. What's that? Yeah, this is the famous uh, San Gennaro. San Gennaro. Yeah, Gennaro. Are, you are you blessing yeah. me? Yeah, I'm blessed. Because everything. I bless everything. When I stand yeah. back here, technically I've kind of like been knighted, right? You've been knighted. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn you into a Neapolitan chef in about 20 minutes. It works. Yeah, it took me about My 10 mother's minutes. from Istanbul, it's close. Perfect, close enough. Right around close the corner. Enough. Anyway, I mean uh, I, the dough here is very different. You know, this dough that in Antico people get to eat pizza in about two minutes. Right. But this dough took us two days to make it. So it's very soft and different. I'm gonna show you how to open one very easy. There's a lot of different ways to open pizza. Yep. I'm gonna show you the easy way. All right. Okay? You're gonna hold your fist like this. All right. I wanna give you the dough. You're just gonna do this. Just and keep moving around the edge. That's the, that's the easy what, way. What's that called, what I'm doing there? Uh, you could give it a name, but we're just yep. opening a pizza. Okay. Keep it around the edge. Yeah. Right on the edge. Right okay. on the edge. Watch, like this. And you know, let the weight. There's a reason why. Look, I got, look. Yeah. And let the weight. This is the easy way. Let the weight open the pizza. All right. I'm opening Stay the pizza. Stay on the edge. You're not turning. Turn it. There you go. There you go. Like this. Look. All right. Work. Why does yours look you got, so much better than mine? Because this is pizza 101. I'm giving yeah, you the easy path you. to get in a pizza business. All right. The weight will open it up, and you pull it down, and you're... Uh-oh. Yeah, it's, it's, like, it's like a deformed... Uh, <laughs> it's like a very ill pizza. All right, that was a practice one. That was a practice okay. one. All right, round two. So anyway, let's make your San Gennaro. We start with scamorza cheese. Okay. So where's the cheese coming from? Where's the dough coming from? This just flour just happens to be the best in Naples, and it's from my grandfather's town, so I'm very proud of that. Right. Um, cheese is coming from where? The cheese... We, the buffalo mozzarella comes by plane from Naples every Sunday to right. the Atlanta airport. We pick it up. Uh -huh. The scamorza and the regotta is made in Brooklyn for me, and we get it every week, fresh. So um, these are old, all the old Greatest school places. Greatest ingredients in the world. Literally, yeah, yeah, in the and, world. But in, equally as important to have them fresh. Right, okay. And, and that's, so that was a challenge. You need that plane on Sunday night, And nights, now right? tons of it. Yeah. Right. Yeah, now warehouse is full. Right. So that was a challenge, and we're, we've met the challenge, thank God. All right, so we're, we're, All right, so we got a, like uh, the hand crushed San Marzano tomato. Yep. There's not a lot of secrets to our sauce. We just get the tomatoes grown in Mount Vesuvio and we crush them. There's, there's when you have great there's tomatoes. There's no secret ingredient. Yeah, you know. No I mean, there's a couple sauce. things in the back that I yeah. can't. But but you, I mean, when you have tomatoes that good, they're blood red. You yep. could, you could drink this on the can, and you don't need to put a lot out of it. I could do shots of that. Yeah, very exactly. Happy. Yeah, some people put a, way to start put the a day. little vodka in there and you're yeah. good. <laughs> but it's like. <laughs> Anyway, and the sausage you talked about. Yeah. This, this is the sausage. This comes from, I asked you last time. Yeah, was from, from Chicago. Chicago. Yeah, Chicago. Chicago sausage. Who, who does it better than them? So the our, our meatballs and sausage come from Chicago. So the combination yeah. of pizza, how'd you come up with the, the six well, or Well, you know, you, was there they're, all, they're all old classics, except for the, the, the Diablo, the San Gennaro. I created the lasagna. These are my my creations that have become famous. These are caramelized, caramelized ba onions, baby, right? onions, baby onions, chipolline from Ooh, Italy. There we go. And you touch of garlic. Uh, yeah. Little drizzle of extra virgin. Yeah, we're gonna get back to that. We're gonna get back to that. You might have to like take a couple more classes before yeah, the next right. show. Yeah. You know what? That was that's the sick pizza <laughs> yeah. over there. Yeah. yeah. Let's go to the healthy yeah, pizza we'll right here. One. Now the pizza. Right. Who, 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 so who now these, these are these are. Who's this guy. That's all he does all day. Everybody here is a task. How you doing, brother? Say hello. Good to see you. This guy, he's a fornial. He's a fornial. Hey, fornial. Everybody, everybody has a task here, and they specialize in one thing, and that's all they do all day. But in Naples, unlike in America, we pull the pizza like this, oh. off the marble. This is easy. Right. Putting a soft, delicate dough in a thousand degree oven, you could do it. All right, go here for we it. go. You got it. So what happens if I screw this up? Uh, well, you know, it comes out of your paycheck. Yeah, you know what? You better huh? do this. You better do this, brother. Right, that's, a little, that's a yeah, lot it's of a little, pressure. A little delicate. I can Oven's eat really well, but I, I... Oven's a little hot today. Yeah, so how right. hot's that oven? Right now, it's about 1,100 degrees. 1,100 yeah. degrees. Yes. Where, where do these bad boys come from? They're built in Naples. Wow. So what are you doing there? Last little... We're uh, going to roast all the peppers in the sausage. If you don't have a 1,000 degree oven, you can't roast. That roasts everything. Just like that, huh? Charge the crust. Total, in a, a total uh, start to finish in the oven. 70 seconds. 70 seconds. We ready to grab that bad boy? Let's do it. Let's right. go. Let's get a good taste. You know the Neapolitan fold. I mean, you're a New York guy, so yeah, you know. Yeah, absolutely. You well, know, you got to do the Boston. Yeah, you know pizza. Yeah, you know pizza Regina pizza. They, go, they got the St. Anthony. Pizza, huh? pizza Regina. Yeah, they got the, the St. Anthony. Right the North yeah. end. Give me the fold. You see that bend right there? Give me the fold and go in. Mm. Ready? Let's do that. 
Mm. That's only the best never, pizza on the planet. I never get sick of that. How proud are you that Atlanta has one of the great pizza places in the country, if not the best? I'm very proud. I was really glad to discover this for the first time, and I intend on coming back to get it again.